Today we're touring a $2,000 studio apartment in the fashion district in downtown LA. It is $2,000, which I think is very affordable for the space. A full kitchen, a full bathroom, and a huge space with huge, beautiful windows. But let's take a little bit more of a slow look at it. It's located, like I said, in the fashion district, so Skid Row is pretty close. Parking does not come included, but there's a few garages, so I definitely recommend, like if you guys are gonna move in here, make sure that you have parking before you lease it out. Look at the beautiful concrete floors. And then the kitchen is huge. Like this is a real kitchen. Like I could see this size kitchen in a home. Countertops are pretty nice. It looks like maybe it was renovated in like the early, early 2000s just because of the style. Here's where a fridge is supposed to go. I'm assuming there's no fridge now, but it does come with a fridge. It has a stove, microwave, and then the dishwasher's over here on the other side next to the sink. Plenty of storage right here. The ceilings are super high and there's storage areas there and a light, oh, that's pretty cute. And there's space to put stools right here. There's actually a ledge. So you wouldn't even need a dining table. I think I would just put like a couch and TV here then and then filming stuff over there. But these windows, I'm obsessed. These windows are gigantic. Now let's go take a look at the bathroom. Yes, the bathroom does have a bathtub and it looks like a huge bathtub. Wait, I need to try and see if I can fit in it. Oh my God, this is huge. I'm 5'10", by the way. Oh my God. And as far as the vanity, I mean like there's a decent amount of space. You know, there's storage under toilet paper roll and there's a cabinet um, storage. I think this is really, really, really good price for a studio this size. I mean, clearly it's, the location is definitely part of why it's a little bit more affordable. So let's do a little bit of a recap. Parking, I think, is going to be an issue. This building is pretty old, so I'm expecting maintenance issues and maybe even pest issues. Just the location, like the walkability, I think it's okay, but it is pretty like dirty so if this is the first place you're moving to from the suburbs or something it's gonna seem very dirty it might be a little bit scary because you're gonna run into a lot of different kinds of people and then the space itself it's just so big even though it's a studio it's like the size of a one bedroom and has everything that you need and plenty of space plenty of lighting during the day doesn't have a lot of lighting in the more common area for the nighttime um, but I think it's a great option as long as you are the right person for it because this is not going to be the apartment for everybody. If you're interested, these were the Santi Court apartments right next to the fashion district, if not like in the fashion district because there's like stores right there that are clothing stores. Look at, there's so much parking, a lot of parking garages, so it can get expensive. I'm assuming all of them are going to be like around one to three hundred dollars per month. These are all the buildings for the Santee Court. They do have a few different buildings to choose from. Lots of floor plans online. And this is like a luxury apartment complex where you have like maintenance people and leasing office people and lots of apartments always coming up because it is so huge. But um, thanks for watching and let me know if you want me to tour more apartments in LA. I am looking for another apartment in LA, but um, I don't know if this is it. <laughs> I really liked it. Maybe it might be it. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right apartment for me. I want it to be just a little more chill when you're outside.